Today. It is so good to see you. I do hope you are super well. Tonight, I'm going to take you on a bit of an adventure where we are going to check out some of my favorite nighttime shooting spots. We've got the Z9, we've got the scooters. We're going to do this in real time. We're shooting it in one take and off we go. And here we are. We're in the first location and this is De Graves Street. It looks good in the morning, it looks good at night, and it looks good in the middle of the day. So if you want to get some cool shots here, really at any time of day, this is a great spot. I'm going to start off by just taking one or two myself, and then we will keep going. Here we go. Love it. Fabulous. And here we are on the Z9 with the 51.2. All right, we're going to keep moving. going to go down send away send away is another really cool spot I've been shooting here for three decades and you'll see in my Melbourne 8k video which you should check out they had this beautiful lighting display here it was only here for a month or two but again morning noon night this is usually a super bustling little street full of cafes. It's extraordinarily photogenic, and I totally recommend that you come here. This is sent away. And check out this video here as well. This is where we shot the Shayla video with the 400mm 2.8 with the built-in 1.4 teleconverter. This into Grave Street with the two main locations. All right, we're doing this in real time. We've got to keep moving. Gonna get at least one shot in each location so here we go i like i like these illuminated things here Ooh, nice oh that's nice that is very nice that is a killer shot i love it okay totally calendar worthy let's rumble and we haven't pre-scouted this so this is just happening live. Sounds still good, Joe. So part of the fun of this tour is Joe doesn't know where I'm going. So we could have some interesting moments. This is another little laneway which is quite photogenic. And we are now between Flinders Lane and Collins Street. That lane there, Manchester Lane. Now we're on Collins Street, and we're gonna go through to another little secret spot. For some of these sections where I'm just scooting, I'm gonna jump in and we'll have a quick look at some of the images. So first off, we have the lease sign here, and I just wanted to show you that that was shot at ISO 200, 1 200th of a second at F1.2 on the 50 mil. Now, just as a quick aside on our journey, my gallery is down there, down this laneway here, and this is known as Block Place. But we're gonna go to this little laneway next to Block Place. And if we look here, both to the left and to the right, we have two fun locations, and uh, that light is actually flickering, it's not the shutter in the camera. I've shot here many for, for since 1989, I first photographed in this laneway. 
black and white Ilford film on my Pentax K1000. And then here, we actually shot in here for part of the Shayla shoot. I'll show you some footage of that. All right, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna head up Elizabeth Street. We've got a green light. Let's go, Joe, let's go. <laughs> really like this image, ISO 200 150th f1.2. And if you have a look down there, that's actually quite a nice, cool place to get some interesting spots. This is the GPO and we are at the corner of Little Burke and Elizabeth Street. All right, let's keep moving. The only reason I stop here is because I love the colours and I will often shoot this out of focus, just like this. Now we are shooting, just to give you an idea, we're at ISO 64 on the 50mm 1.2. Anyway, we will keep moving, but this is just fun colour. Not exactly the most iconic or famous thing, but still. It's pretty. Now, uh, over the years, this is a laneway on that side that I've really liked, but it's been, it's kind of being developed away at this point, but it is worth a look and it's got some interesting graffiti. If we just spin around, we can see that uh, the film Dune has been put up as a giant mural. If you look to your left, Joe, the blue thing with all those faces, maybe step back to the footpath. That's the film Dune. And the film producers will have paid for that to be across four buildings very high quality. So it's an interesting thing to me that this used to be basically a public space where art would appear. This is still art, but this is art for commercial purposes, obviously for a $200 million Hollywood film. So, you know, it's hard to know what to think, but there's still some interesting views. And I was gonna take a photograph in every location. These sort of murals, paid murals, you can't actually photograph them and reproduce them for the purposes of making money. So. I won't bother to shoot it. I will shoot it for the purposes of this video, just to show you the quality. Oh, I like this. I, I found something. So this here is new. They've painted this building black. It didn't used to be black. Oh, also, I like, I like the meat hanging there. That's good. All right, I'm gonna go over to AFS so I can Go single point, doesn't matter how much tracking you have, it isn't gonna help me get the shot that I want. And in this case, to me, it is just the urban grime. The urban juxtaposition. But I love this single red unit here. And you'll be seeing my flash illuminator, which is pretty funny. Sorry, my focus illuminator on the wall over there. And to give you an idea, we are shooting handheld, one sixth of a second, wide open at f1.2. And this is what you can do with this gear, pretty crazy. This lift's quite nice too. Now the 50mm is probably just a little bit, it's a little bit tight for this. Um, yeah. Oh no, that's nice. That's cool. All right, we'll keep moving. Back to the electrics. Oh, that's nice, I like that, I like that. Nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, we're ready for liftoff. Let's go.
So this is Caledonian Lane. Caledonian Lane. All right, let's keep moving. So that's really sad. Um, if you look on that wall there, the mosaic, this says the city of Melbourne. Melbourne City Council. Now that was fully there last time I was here, maybe two months ago. And I photographed that 20 years ago. So it's only in the last two months. And I would say this is from the 60s. This is a powerhouse. This is a substation, electrical substation. So somebody has vandalized this just recently. But it's just a beautiful old mosaic that I think is totally worth getting a shot of. Because it's just basically classy. But uh, somebody's been completely classless. And what have they done? They've uh, vandalized it. All right, we're going to keep moving. Now, uh, we're going past stalactites here where... Uh... Now, this is where Joe and I like to come and get a suvalaki. Not everything has to be about photography. This is where you get the best suvalaki in Melbourne. We love this place. And if you just want to get a lot of lamb or chicken that's perfectly cooked, this is the place to be. All right, let's, uh, let's ride. Let's ride. All right, we're about to do something crazy. I'm gonna scoot down here. I'm not sure it's possible. Here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah. Okay, I'm still alive. I made it. And this is another great shooting location. Be careful, Joe. Be really careful. Oh man, you're crazy. I'm very impressed. That felt dangerous on a scooter. Joe's doing it on an electric skateboard. That's completely crazy. This is another great location. Oh my God. So this is a favorite Chinese, uh, Japanese restaurant. And as we can see, the lease signs up. This sadly is the story of Melbourne at the moment that uh, we're gonna use. So people, when you're shooting, anything environmental that happens, try and use it. Joe, you're creating a shadow and you can use it to your advantage. And in this case, it's to illuminate this wall here for us. And, uh, but normally, normally this is illuminated and it just looks amazing, but uh, it's closed down and that is just super sad. Oh well, let's get some cobblestones out of focus with the, uh, with the car in the back there. Beautiful, 1.8 F1.264 ISO Z9. All right, let's ride, regulators, let's ride. Eight minutes left, Oof. I've got two more locations, people. Are we gonna make it? I can't even ride on this stuff, it'll kill me. Well, here we are, we're going up Chinatown, Little Burke Street. It's the, it's, it's the middle of the night on a Monday and there's like zero traffic. <laughs> my scooter just won't. This is my backup scooter. Just won't go up this hill. It's not as strong as the other one. God damn it. And we're running out of time. We're gonna move really quick. Can we do the last two locations? Oh my God. That's a good one. 
So we're gonna just blow through this next location. But this is Pellegrini's. Isn't exactly a laneway, but it's on a laneway. And one of the coolest parts of this location is the laneway next door. So this counts as a laneway. And here we are coming up on the beautiful Pellegrini's. Now it's not illuminated at this time of day, especially it being a Monday when we're shooting this. Come here on a Thursday or a Friday, there it is, beautiful table. If you come stand over here, you can see the beautiful Pellegrini's. You can see the laneway with their neon, and you can see the beautiful bookstore. Now, of course, everybody's seen me photograph here before. This is one of my favorite locations, and it's obviously the cover of my book. Check it out, website, here it is almost sold out of that book so if you want to get it now's the time all right how, how long we got to go joe five minutes. five minutes five minutes all right we've got we've got two whole blocks to go on five we might not make it keep an eye on the timer let's ride regulators ah uh, we're going this way i'm just trying to decide the most efficient way we're going to go i go this way and they are all, just as a reminder, shot on the 50mm 1.2. This is at 150th. This is at 64 115th. 64 115th. 64 110th. 64 18th of a second. And these are all at 1.2, so they're all wide open. 64 18th and 64 18th. There's a few more cool ones to come. Hold on to the end. So just through here, behind here, we're now on Flinders Lane. There's Duckboard Place. That's a pretty interesting place to come and shoot. But we haven't got much time, have we, Joe? Great. We're just about to make it to the final destination. All right, so our final destination is, because I won't have time to say everything, is Hosier Lane, very famous place for graffiti artists and we've almost gone full circle. Let's go, Joe. And this is it, this is Hosier Lane. So very famous for its graffiti art. Some of it is murals commissioned and some of it is just good old fashioned tagging and street art. Here we are, this is the 30 minute in one take. Some of my favorite locations in Melbourne done at night. You can do this too. Please let me know in the comments below, do you like this style of video where we try and look at these locations live? Would you like me to do it a different way? I'd love you to tell me. So good to have you here. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, please like, and make sure you jump on the website, grab yourself a print, or think about channel membership. All right, and get out there and make some art. Catch you later. Thing going on here. All right. Get out and shoot. See ya.